and welcome to another episode of The Dope Show for Monday, July 23rd, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Mammy Dextrous, and we have another really exciting episode for you today. Not a whole lot of drag happened this weekend. Um, Gogo Fetch had another one of her um, drag brunches at the mm -hmm. Yellowhead Brewery yesterday, which uh, we were not able to make it to, but I hear it was yet again sold out, and everybody had a great time and mm -hmm. everything else, so congratulations to them. The drag that we did make it to this weekend was, last night, you went to the Sunday Review and filmed uh, Pure Camp. Yes, I did film Pure Camp, and what an enjoyable time camp was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really packed crowd. I was actually working in security, um, but uh, yeah, it was a really packed crowd, and everybody seemed to be eating it up. Uh, I couldn't see the stage because there were so many people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you had a front row seat. Um, how, was, how was Pure Camp? Ah, good. <laughs> it was good and stuff. It was good and stuff. Um, on the way home last night, Rami was talking uh, just about that it was really one of the most enjoyable shows throughout that mm -hmm. uh, she'd seen in quite a while, kind of thing. Like, there, was, there wasn't a lot of bumps in the road. Um, so, yeah, Ivy hosted the show and she started it off with um, a number that was basically. <gasps> Calling out Lourdes for occasionally being late. <laughs> now, again, I was working security, so I, I am one of the few people that know exactly what time Lourdes walked into the bar last night. Um, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, the point was that it was supposed to be Lourdes the Mary Virgin, and Ivy was kept being told that she had to stall and go longer and everything else. So she made this, uh, it was a magician, it started out as a magician act and ended up being a burlesque number and, and everything else, like it was just, it was fabulous. Yeah, it was. It was fabulous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you know, just some poking some silly fun at a, at a friend. Uh, but yeah, it was a really good number. Um, Ivy packed the show with some really good performers. Yeah. Uh, which like, again helped. Talk about a stacked show. Uh, including a jacked. Dixon Cunts. <laughs> yes, speaking of Jacked. <laughs> uh, wow. He-Man, I believe. He yes, He-Man <laughs> uh, came out and did the first number. Uh, <laughs> that suit was crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. the wig and the yeah. whole look. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, so yeah, that was what's going on. And it was just pure camp silliness. Like, it was exactly what the poster said. Mm -hmm. That was what it was supposed to be. It was, it was, it was great. It was buffoonery, yes. <laughs> as advertised. Um, next, we ha actually, I'm not even 100 percent sure of the order, but this is the order I wrote them down in. Mm -hmm. uh, Rexy Resurrection. Uh, her number yes. in the first set was a natural woman, um, and it was about her naked dad. And being freaked oh. out or something like it was. It was about okay. Okay. I was <laughs> in the back of the room and yeah, anyway. I tried to watch some of it today, but I still was a little confused. Okay, so yeah, uh, Naked Dad. So, uh, Rexy's <laughs> character saw the Naked Dad and it ruined her for life because no man she met afterwards would measure up to it. Oh! Yes. Yikes. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was that one. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, your sister wife did very fine, and the crowd roared afterwards they were eating it up so like that's fantastic yeah um speaking of fantastic what i saw when all of a sudden this ape creature walked out on stage carrying obviously the empire state building and i was just like is this really about to happen and it did and it did thanks to the mind of pudding <laughs> yes. uh, Putin had some help from Crystal Ridge. Yes, Crystal Ridge in the ape costume. Yes, uh, and then uh, they did Alone by yes. Heart. Mm -hmm. And it was basically, uh, I guess it was Fay Ray. Well, it was that character, right? It, but it kind of looked like a Marilyn Monroe y 1940s, oh, okay. 50s kind of. Anyway, um, oh. that was the look I was getting. It was very Fay Ray to me as opposed to kind of more the modern take. Um, but yeah, it was, it was absolutely stunningly done and and like uh there was funny moments there was poignant moments there was beautiful moments like mm -hmm. it was pudding pudding's pretty great um and i'm not just saying that as a sister as a sister uh i yeah. ooh, girl <laughs> <laughs> and again like as, as lilith keeps adding these actually talented people to the family i'm like 
It's you feel like you're getting oh. cast off to the well, side. Well, it's not cast off to the side. It's just like, damn, I suck. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just put in really brings it every single time. Mm -hmm. And every time is theatrical and, and entertaining. And yes. Anyway, Alone was fabulous. I, I, I loved it. I loved it. And I know that I was not alone. <laughs> uh, speaking of alone, <laughs> Lord the Merry Virgin uh, decided to do a number in the first set that I don't even know how to describe it, but I, I, I was one of the few people, again, I, as usual with Loris, I was one of the few that probably got what she was doing. Um, it was Too Funky by George Michael, and, and she came out and she was a supermodel and she did her walk and that was it. Like, she was paid to do her 30 seconds of the, of the video yeah. or whatever. Like, and I, I, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah and I, I love that song and I love Lourdes and I was howling at the back and I, yeah, mm -hmm. anyway, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, for someone that didn't get some of those references, they were probably like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> true, true. Uh, but Lourdes, uh, like, in the supermodel vein of things, mm -hmm. looked like a supermodel. The face and the makeup mm -hmm. on Lourdes' last night was really good. Yeah, it was fabulous. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it was it was a great number. And then I talked to Lourdes afterwards and kind of got some backstory on and stuff, and I know what nice. the song means to her and everything else. So it was really sweet. But uh, yeah, no, I absolutely loved it. Uh, Again, speaking of loving it, Roselle Christina did mm -hmm. no Asians in the movies, and, and I love that girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's just so great, like, um, she's just funny, and again, like, she can get away with shit. Like, True. Like, it's just because of her smile, and because of her style, and I don't know, she's just fabulous, and it was, it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious! Hilarious, and a nice little appearance by Poco Want this in it too. Yes. <laughs> um, Sephoria did yes. a number. Um, Ode to the Bouncer. So I guess that was to me. Thanks. Yes, you were the bouncer. I, nice. Yes. That, thank you for dedicating your song to me. That was very sweet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, Sephoria's performed a couple of times, and I, I really uh, enjoy what Sephoria brings to the table. Yes. Um, as we've discussed, I, this, I, there's a bit of a Bianca Lovegood quality, quality resemblance yeah. thing going on there that I would absolutely love the two of them to do like twinsies, dolls, mm -hmm. kind of like numbers together. Anyway, Bianca, Levi, Levi, be, talk to each other, people. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the two of you would, would bang out a quirky, fun little number. Uh, whatever. I really enjoyed what you brought to the table uh, last night. Uh, it was fun. It's a good number. Um, the end of the first act was the cast of Camp mm -hmm. featuring accessories. And I and this was completely unplanned and rehearsed. Yeah. And they just had a song that I assume they knew about in the advance. Yeah. In advance they knew about the song and they were given accessories to work and mm -hmm. model on stage. Mm -hmm. and. Some of them did really well, like some of them were given sex toys and mm -hmm. fans mm -hmm. and they, they played it up by working together, so, you know, it was, it was the cast with accessories. Right? <laughs> it, it was camp. Again, it was what it was supposed to be. It was silly. Yeah. Right? Like, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that was, that was set one from Pure Camp. And we're back with set two from last night's Pure Camp. Um, Ivy League opened the uh, second set with Pills and Potions. Yes. Uh, her Professor Snape number. Mm -hmm. um, fabulous. So we've seen it before. We have. It's really good to get footage of it in Evo. Mm -hmm. I think that that's it's so stage. nice with the better lighting and the better stage. Better and, yeah, lighting and better it sound. just lends itself to a better performance yeah. when it's at Evo, I yeah. find. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was really, really well done. Um, and uh, it's actually Braden's pick of the week. Uh, Braden loved everything that Ivy did, but uh, yeah, he actually let us know that that right. was the one that he wanted. Um, after Ivy, uh, Dixon, <laughs> well, again, I don't know the particular order, but what we've got, uh, Dixon Cunts came up <laughs> again with the muscle suit, but this time he was Duff Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it was just camp gold. Like, it was just yes. pure silliness. Like, it was mm -hmm. just was exactly what is exactly what the show was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, great job, Dixon. You know I love watching you. Uh, 
And then Rexy Resurrection came out and made me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, this time she started off with Call Me, mm -hmm. and, then, and then that blended into this phone conversation. Um, yeah. <laughs> calling, uh, calling a delivery place <laughs> and uh, ordering tad pie and spicy Thai sauce and things like that. <laughs> And, and things go real crazy real quick, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, basically, uh, she really enjoys the phone conversation. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can catch all that on Trangular Heels in Rexy's uh, playlist. Anyway, yeah, no, it was hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, Indigo and I were in the back of the room just howling, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, in did another number in the second set, and I actually, sorry if Rob, if you watch this, but I left my post, and, and I was just entranced with what was going um. on on stage, and I left my post and just like kept walking towards the stage and then realized, I was just kind of like, wait, like, you have work to do. Um, but yeah, it was, it was mesmerizing, and like, uh, again, like, when he ever, whenever he put and steps onto the stage, she just gives so much of herself. Mm -hmm. That you can't help but feed. Like, it's just. Yeah. It's incredible. Some, you got some, some skills, bitch. I think um, there's some acting skills there. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and again, like, it's a natural fit that Lilith would, would, would uh, try to pick a mentor, Putin. You know what I mean? Because nope. again, <laughs> like. Anyway, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, it was, it was to Tainted Love. Um, yeah, like, it was just. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was it was fabulous, and it was it was about um, gay conversion camps and stuff like that. Like it was just mm -hmm. stunning. And I go watch it. Go watch it. <laughs> Wait till you, this is done first. Uh, <clears throat> Loris came out in the second set, and she did Younger Men, uh, yeah. which was a bizarre little KT Oslin pick um, from. Uh, White Palace, I think, is what it was called. Uh, yeah, that's what I had written down. Uh, yeah, it was a Susan Sarandon, James Spader, older woman, younger man movie. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> Lourdes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was, I mean, I, I don't even know other outside of that movie whether I've ever seen, heard that song before. Like, it was, anyway. Wow. It was cute. It was cute. She was dressed up like an old woman. And, yeah? Yeah. Actually, she the look she had on for that number <laughs> reminded me so much of her Meryl Streep <laughs> number. And it was like, oh, that's Meryl Streep on stage, because I have no idea. That's I don't know this Susan Sarandon character. <laughs> well, she's like, yeah, it's like Meryl, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, but yeah, it was it was great. You know I'm a mark for Lars. Um Then, uh, I mean, again, I'm standing at the back with Indigo. And all of a sudden, and he goes, oh my god, I just can't fucking with her. And then we look to the, I turn and look to the stage, and Roselle's walking out in, like, this Cylon costume, all glowing <laughs> with lights and shit, and yeah. I'm like, oh. Like, no one does that with Roselle. Like, she's yeah. just, no one brings to the table what Roselle brings. Like, she's mm -hmm. just in a class of her own. That's, yeah. I love you, girl. <laughs> love you. And it's so nice to see you performing more often. Mm -hmm. yes. Book Roselle, people. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was fantastic. Uh, the other one that was really good again was Margaret Snatcher came out. Uh, oh, Ivy's yes. daughter. Ivy's uh, daughter, Margaret. Yes, came out and did <laughs> woman. Uh, <laughs> motherfucking woman. Uh, but then like, it was intercut with like intercut with like Maury, like it's a man. It's Maury. a man, Maury. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> So, of course, like, you're playing with gender in that yeah. one as well, and we enjoyed that. Yes. And then Ivy came out and snatched a wig. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wig snatch. Margaret Snatcher got snatched. Yes. By her own mother. By her own mother. <laughs> That's just mean. Just mean mother. Right? And, I, and your mom is so nice. I was talking to her last night. Ivy's mom is just a very sweet... Anyway, I'm not totally surprised. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was fantastic. Speaking of her mom... Uh, Ivy Lee came out and finished the show with Donatella. Um, and again, if she had 
made it to the Anne's finale, uh, or the, the, the lip sync for, for your, your life. life. This is kind of what she was going to do. That's kind of what she was going to do. And so I, I enjoy those throwback moments where we get to see mm -hmm. what would Ivy have done if she made it to the final two. Well, and again, like so many people in Anne's, like, um, like they had other numbers movie. that they didn't get a chance to do. Like I, yeah. I, 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 I want to know when those were done if they have. True. Them. You know, like I think that's neat. I because again, like to you, that's Anne's worthy. I want That's your best foot. I. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, point being, it was a great show. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I enjoyed all the videos that I was checking out today, and as I say, the, the bits that I was able to catch last night, I thoroughly enjoyed, and, um, and, and you certainly seem to enjoy too. So yeah, the, the audience loved it, so good job. Yeah. I, I hope we get more camp in the future. Oh, I feel like there will be another camp throw, camp show thrown that way towards right? Ivy, I'm sure. Um, I would be remiss without mentioning this as well. Uh, last night, uh, Sunday night, uh, at Twisted Element in Calgary, um, at the Twisted Follies was a special edition with all previous Anne's winners. Not uh, all previous. Well, Miss Terry Stevens was the host, um, but then it was uh, Lil Fair and Davina Dyfor and Duke Carson were all there to. And the last three winners. Of yes, the yes. Well, I wasn't so sorry. Yeah, no, I wasn't saying all the winners. But, uh, the, the performers were all previous Anne's winners. Is all I was saying. Anyway, so the last three were all there. Uh, so yeah, like that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so a good friend of ours is was actually there filming, and we will have all that coming for you soon. So those technically will be eligible for next week's pick of the week because. We don't have them, haven't seen them yet, so yeah. I, we, they don't count. But, but they will be coming. coming, they will be coming. We're not going to make you wait a week to get yeah. them. As soon as we get them, you'll get them. Anyway, um, that will be coming very soon. Um, next week. Next week. We have some shows. Yes. <laughs> um, Friday night at Evolution Wonder Lounge at 9 p.m. for $5. Drag me through the decades, the ISCWR show. Um, it's hosted by Morgan and Vanity. It's gonna be great. Um, I can't tell you who's in it because it's, I don't know. <laughs> is it the Entertainment of the Year show? Well, it is, um, yes. Um, but uh, it's not a pageant anymore, so I don't know. Oh. I believe from the meeting there might be one or two previous entertainers of the year besides Morgan and Vanity in the show. But okay. uh, it, anyway, it's gonna be a good show. And of course, all monies will go to the ICWR Charities of the Year. So. Nice. Uh, Saturday is a busy one. Saturday um, is Fruit Loops' latest event, uh, yes. Summer Jam. Uh, it is at the doors at 10, uh, 7 p.m. Ten dollars to get in is the suggested donation. Yeah. Um, and uh, I will be there covering that one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't actually been to a Fruit Loop event in quite a while. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah. one that. Uh, we haven't been asked to do a lot of fruit yeah, loops, so, but yeah. we, were, we were pleasantly surprised to be asked to do this yeah. fruit loop. So yeah, we're definitely checking that out on Saturday, that's going to be fun. Uh, Sky is going to be across town at Hail Mary and Have Mercy, mm -hmm. that shows at 10pm, and that uh, of course we'll have Sister Mary Clarence, and uh, this week's guests are uh, Lady Tenderflake, mm -hmm. I Gotta Go, and Morgan Fair. So that's going to be a good show too. Um, Sunday. Nova's Fractured Fairy Tales is the Sunday Review, um, hosted by Nova Gina, and there's some performers in it, like Shayla's on LaRue. Yes. Ruby Hyman. Ruby Hyman. Ripple Rouge. Ripple Rouge. Colin Bay. Colin Bay. Pheromone Kills. Pheromone Kills. That's probably it. And Bambi Dextrous. Oh yeah! Yeah! That one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, what, would, what would fairy tales be without having Bambi? Uh, so yeah, that's fantastic. We're obviously looking forward to that. I'm going to be filming that one. Uh, but yeah, that's really about all we have coming up. Um, the weekend after that, there's going to be shows that we will have other people covering, but we of course will be at Pine Trails for that's right. Back Pine into Trails. the Woods for August Long Weekend. Um, picks of the Week. Picks of the Week. Uh, Roselle, Christina, Nobody's Asian in the Movies. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, Brayden, as I said, Brayden's wanted Ivy Pills and Potions. Yes. Um, I, I really want... It's this close to Puddin' for the 
for the alone number, but uh, it, it's 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 Lourdes. Like it, nothing made me howl out loud as much as that number did. Um, so I'm Lourdes. Lourdes too funky. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you're just too funky for me. So those are the picks of the week. That's yeah. the picks of the week. Um, that's about uh, it. Really. That's about it. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all those things. Bye. Bye.